the Blue Planet, a haven of life in space and home to more than six billion people. Oceans cover by far the greater part of the planet. Less than a third of the Earth's surface is dry land. What are the mechanisms and cycles that govern life on our planet? What role do the oceans play? Questions such as these have always aroused people's curiosity. Exploring our world and how its phenomena interrelate yields answers that are important to our very existence. In its quest for knowledge, modern science is thus constantly broadening our horizons. At the collaborative research centres, top-ranking scientists work in an interdisciplinary context. They are a pillar of basic research at German universities. Our climate is the result of complex processes that we have only understood very little of so far. What are the causes of extreme and even catastrophic weather situations? The immense damage devastating storms have caused in the recent past gives rise to the question as to whether they're the harbingers of a global change in climate or merely natural fluctuations in climate. Is it possible to forecast flooding disasters so that the population can be warned in time? Scientists, supported by the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft, are above all looking for clues in the South Atlantic. To this end, they are making use of the research ship Meteor. Scientists working at a collaborative research centre at Bremen University are taking samples from the bottom of the sea at a depth of several kilometres. The ocean bed provides the researchers with clues as to what the Earth's climate was like 300,000 years ago. Barbara Dorna is also a chronicler of climate history. I returned from an exhibition just a week ago and we have obtained more than 270 core meters of sample material. The formation of this seabed took rather a long time. Two centimeters of seabed developed in around a thousand years. So, if we take a segment one meter in length, you can assume that we're looking at 50,000 years of history. And this is what we're interested in. We want to obtain sediments from the past and examine them. The color already indicates that the composition of the sediments varies. Generally speaking, we can say that the lighter it is, the more chalky it will be. What we want to look at is the composition of the sediments, half of which consist of biogenic organisms and the other half of sand, clay and mud. But the biological organisms we are working with form skeletons, and the skeletons yield information on details of the climate in the past, such as temperature. Insights into the climate of the past provide the foundations for reliable forecasts. Researchers from the Institute of Oceanography in Kiel, which belongs to the Wissenschaftsgemeinschaft Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, are examining the laws governing the great ocean currents. It's already been established that they're caused by the process of equilibration of warm water masses with a rich salt content and cold water masses with a low salt content. Differences of this kind also power the Gulf Stream, Central Europe's central heating system. Whenever the experimental probe of the Kiel scientists returns to the surface, it's full to the brim with water samples. Each second counts then. For the longer the period, up to the first analysis of the water samples, the greater the danger of their properties changing and falsifying the results. 
the scientists of the Kiel Collaborative Research Centre can, in fact, conduct many experiments on the high seas, for the Meteor is also a floating laboratory. The data established here provide the foundations for climate models with which natural processes can be simulated by a computer. A collaborative research center at Hamburg University is examining how the interaction between the sea and the atmosphere forms the weather. One of the methods it's applying is flights to take measurements in the polar region. The North Atlantic is just outside our front door and changes in this climate system have an immediate impact on Europe. This is why the examination of the Arctic climate system directly relates to our life here in Europe. Climate represents a complicated interaction between the atmosphere and the ocean. At our collaborative research centre, we are attempting to understand the causes of these climate processes. A collaborative research centre offers the ideal environment to bring together meteorologists and oceanographers at the same university in order to solve these climate problems. Will the next winter be severe or will it be a mild one? The Hamburg Collaborative Research Centre is establishing the scientific foundations to answer questions of this kind. Public support is enabling new knowledge to be acquired about the factors determining the conditions for life on our planet. By reconstructing the climate of the past and explaining today's weather phenomena, knowledge-oriented marine science is creating the foundations for better forecasts in the future.